Welcome to my mommy's channel. Welcome to my channel. Say thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Well, hi guys. What's up? My name is Lauren Danielle. This is the first time you're seeing my face. Welcome to my channel. Make sure to subscribe down below if you like to see lifestyle and mommyhood videos. I am 22 years old. I have an almost three-year-old. I am married to my wonderful husband, Mason, and I am currently... 36 weeks with another little girl and her name is going to be Rowan Praise. Um, and then my other, my three-year-old, or almost three-year-old, her name is Blake Rose. Um, so today I wanted to film my hospital bag with you guys. Um, before I go too much into what is in the actual bags, I did want to explain a little something. So with being, if you are new to my channel, you might not know what I'm talking about, but I do plan on having a birth at a birthing center. So it is a little bit different than a hospital setting where you stay to 24 to 48 hours. I am only going to be staying in a birthing center for about 4 to 12 hours, depending on how my recovery goes. Um, however, I did want to go the extra mile and pack more of a hospital bag. Um, just in case something went wrong, I needed to get transferred to the hospital. You never know what's going to happen, so I would just like to be prepared rather than unprepared. So that is why there's a little bit more stuff in there. And then as far as um, there's things that I brought that a birthing center does not provide. So there's a lot of things like the squirt bottles, the pads, the underwear that a birthing center just doesn't provide like a hospital does. So I did have to provide those items for myself. So that is why you are going to see a bunch of that in here and maybe some of y'all are confused. So I just wanted to explain that. But without further ado, we can go ahead and hop into the video. So I did want to go ahead and start off with my bag. This is a tote bag I'm going to be using. Um, I can't even tell you where it's from or how old it is. It says guest, but I know it's not real guest. Um, but it's just this very large bag. It has a lot of containers on the sides. So I thought that was really convenient. But I am just going to kind of put this on the ground because it's kind of heavy. And just pull things out and just show y'all. Um, I like. <laughs> so the first thing I have is this little baggie. And this is the Frida Mama, the little squirt bottle. They usually provide these kind of things in the hospital. But it, it just looks more like this. This one's actually cool because it's at an angle and it actually, I don't know, you just fill it with water and squirt, squirt, and it squirts water. And this is um, from the brand Freedom Mama, Freedom Mom from Target, if I didn't say. So that's one of those items that the hospital usually provides, but since I'm going through a birthing center for, um, if everything goes as planned, that I have to provide for myself. So I went ahead and picked that up. Um, in this little bag, I don't think I have anything so far, but I, so I have a, a hairband to tie my hair back, and then a scrunchie, but on, I have a list of things, whatever I'm going to run out the door, of things that I can't necessarily pack, like my makeup, um, not that I really want to be using, wearing makeup, and like toiletries, and like chargers, and cameras, and things like that. So I'm definitely going to be looking at that list right before we head out the door. But I'm going to be filling this up with my toiletries. And this is just a Victoria's Secret bag. Um, so in one of these side pocket fuzzy socks. So these are probably for like going home. And these are more for walking around. And um, I don't really like to bring slippers. And these are just some old fuzzy socks that I have. So I'm just going to bring a pair of those. And then I also brought... Personally, for me, this is going to be a must-have, hopefully. Um, I just see myself using this a lot. This is a belly band that you're supposed to wrap around, and it keeps everything in place. Definitely after you give birth, it feels like your insides are falling out. So this is going to keep everything together. And then I also brought the nursing bra that I have. And it's just this regular nursing bra. I got it from Target. And then I'm also bringing this sports bra. This is the one I'm going to be laboring in just because it's really nice and loose whenever I go to nurse her for the first time. It slips down really easy, but it's really nice and breathable and it's not too tight or anything on me. So I'm going to be wearing that to actual labor in. As far as like clothes and things like that, 
I have a going home outfit and it's just these really, really comfy sweatpants and a black v-neck shirt that's really breathable. I want, I don't want to be uncomfortable. I don't want to wear tight clothes. Um, I just had a baby so my body's going to be all out of whack. So I really just put some loose, comfy clothes. And then I brought my nursing gown, and I actually brought the same gown to the hospital when I had Blakeland. <laughs> when I had Blakeland, so it's really special that I still have this. Um, so yeah, and it just comes with a matching robe. So my nursing gown and robe, and that's pretty much it for my clothes, guys. Um, if something ends up happening and I'm staying in a hospital longer, I'll just get my mom or somebody to run home and grab me some things. But um, even for a hospital stay, if you're in a hospital, you're mostly in a hospital gown. So that's that. I am also going to be bringing these shoes to wear on the way home. They're just some regular old flip-flops. And I brought Mason some clothes. I just bought him um, a pair of shorts, boxers, underwear, a t-shirt, and then I also have his swimsuit trunks in here, um, just in case, um, or just whatever he gets in the tub with me, he wants to do it, that, um, he has that, so he can wear that in the tub with me. And then on the next two pockets that are in my bag, finishing my bag, um, I just have these. These are more like nibble care. So this is going to be some washable pads for um, leaky boobs. You just put it in your bra and these are washable. I love that. I hate it constantly. I always want buying the reusable pads. It just seems like a waste of money when you can buy washable ones. And I believe this was from the Medela brand as well. Um, and this is just the Medela Tender Care for, it's just breast cream, I don't know. I use this kind with Blakeland and it worked really well. So I wanted to pick up uh, the same kind that I knew worked well for me. And then the last pocket that I have as far as in my bag is going to be Finnaman Care for down there. Um, so I have three pairs of cotton loose fitting underwear. I just went and bought these at Walmart the other day and washed them up and went ahead and put these in there. Um, so they're just regular old cotton loose fitting underwear. And then I have three pads. Um, again, there is a Walgreens right by the birthing center in the hospital. So if I, um, if, if I'm in the hospital, I won't need it. But if I, through the birthing center, they have a Walgreens right there. So if I need more than three, which I'm thinking six hours, eight hours at the most, then I definitely won't need more than three. But if for some reason I do, Mason can just run out and get me some more. So I have the big pads, and then I also have the Dermaplast. I use this with Blakeland, and it worked really, really go good along with the squirt bottle, using the squirt bottle first, and then this. Um, so I'm curious to see. I'm sure I'm going to like it the same as last time. But that is all that is in my bag. Now we can go ahead and move on to what is in Roman. So last but not least, this is probably the most exciting part, at least for me, which is the baby diaper bag. I have been watching a lot of these videos here on YouTube to prepare me for what I want to pack in, in hers, and like I said, I did have to pack some extra things. Um, but this is the diaper bag we have for Rowan. It is the brand Locus. And I knew I wanted another diaper bag that was backpack style, um, and this one is super, super, super cool. I've seen quite a few people have this um, type, so it has a lot of fun things that I can't wait to show you inside. But again, it's from the brand Locus, and I believe I got this on Amazon for only $40, so really good deal for a diaper bag. But on the side, it just has this little pocket that you can put wipes. It has this front little pocket this bigger pocket and this big pocket and there's all kinds of little pockets on the inside we have a pocket on the back so there is just a whole bunch of storage in here that is just waiting to be used so we're going to go ahead and start on this pocket up here and in here i just have and again i might not use all of this for um the birthing center or hospital but again it just goes into packing a diaper bag for a baby so I just have this Boudreaux's butt paste little sample size I got in like a little mommy magazine they sent me and then I just have this 
um, Sue the Avenon Event Phillips event. Sue the little pacifier. Blakelin did not like pacifiers at all, never took it, so I'm curious to see how Rowan does with that. And then this is what the pocket looks like. It has all these compartments and then the mesh in there. So in one of them I have, again this is more for Blakelin if she's with us, but I just went to like a little vintage market days and it came with, the, they gave us this little um, band-aid dispenser and I was like wow that is super super convenient for a toddler so that's really in there for Blakelin um, and then I have this little nose sucker that I got from um, my I can't even think of the word my grooming kit for Rowan and then I have a full-size thing of Desitin for Rowan and there and then moving on to this big pot the big pouch we have it full to the brim of stuff but we will just kind of reach in and grab stuff out so this is kind of like her um, grooming bag if you will so you open it up and inside I just have um, not that I'm going to be using this too much this side while I'm in the birthing center but I did just go ahead and pack it just because I it is just all of her stuff um, but I have a little baby nail clippers I have a little mini a brush for her hair I have all these combs and then I have this baby spatula thing I'm not gonna be able to I'm not gonna be using this in the hospital but it just is just in here because I'm going to be keeping this in her diaper bag um, and it's just diaper rash cream is really thick and I hate touching it with my fingers so I use this little baby spatula for that and then moving on to the other side of the screaming kit I just put like um, this little hat in here and this was actually Blakeland's hat it was her little preemie hat so I don't know if it's gonna fit Rowan I mean it, it stretches out pretty big so it, it probably will but I really just wanted to bring this for like sentimental picture um, picture purposes I bought a brought a pair of baby socks we also have a little pair of a little pair of baby mittens so she doesn't scratch her face all up but I did bring the nail clippers as well and um this little headband for pictures so I'm so excited like just taking this stuff out and just touching it all has me full of so much joy I cannot wait to meet her um so that is in her, what's in her grooming now just going ahead and pulling starting to pull stuff out the diaper bag the big part I did as well bring these baby socks these are Blakeland's newborn baby socks um, just because those are zero to three months and these are more preemie to newborn size so this will probably fit her a little bit better and these again were Blakeland's that she wore home from the hospital so I thought that was super special that I still have those and I'm able to use those so going in this diaper bag actually has a diaper changing pad it has this little carry case that you can put um, either an umbrella or so a water bottle in and it hooks to the side and then I also have in the side pocket this pouch and this is going to be my nursing cover again I'm just keeping this in my bag I'm not really sure if I'm going to use this too much while I'm there but this is I do um, not that I don't agree or would judge others for not covering up I just am more of a modest person so I like to be able to cover up and this is actually a car seat cover slash nursing cover and all but I'm going to be using it as a nursing cover and I just got that from Amazon and it's just this really beautiful floral print pattern and again not really sure if I'm going to be using that too much while I'm in there but it is just going to be staying in my diaper bag to use on the go um and then my diaper bag <laughs> um Rowan's and then going out I will go ahead and start with the clothes I brought so the clothes I brought were this onesie and um, it's so little oh my goodness and obviously she's not going to just be in this she'll be swallowed it up really nice but it's just this really nice one onesie and they usually have it really warm in the rooms 
Um, and then I also brought this long sleeve onesie. And this is from Child of Mine. And Blakeland actually wore this a lot when she was a newborn. So I am just so... This is actually Blakeland's onesie that she wore um, in the hospital as well. So, And then as far as a glowing home outfit... We are going to be putting her in this little gown, and it's just this coral polka dot gown, and the sleeves actually turn out to little mittens. Um, so that is what we're going to be bringing as far as clothes-wise for Miss Rowan. And then I do have a couple of more things in here. Um, so I did want to bring her, I brought this swaddle, and I talked about these before. These swaddles are such nice quality, further from Amazon. I got them a pack of three with the matching headbands, and this is going, I'm going to swaddle her up and put that headband on her, and take her, um, welcome, hello, welcome picture in that. So be, be looking forward to that. Follow me on my Instagram, and, um... Y'all will see that cute little picture that I have in my mind. Um, I am bringing a burp cloth. I'm not really sure if I'm going to need this. Again, just one of those things I'm going to pack. So, better safe than sorry to have it. I also have a receiving blanket. And, um, again, not really sure if I'm going to need it, but I'm going to have it. And then I brought a bigger, cozier blanket for the car ride home to just cover up. And I'll be in the back seat so she won't, um, um, yeah. So, that I don't even know yet to explain that. Just a big cozier blanket for her. And then the last thing I have in this diaper bag again is some diapers. And we are um, some diapers and wipes. And I have really just discovered the Hello Bello brand from Walmart. It's kind of like a really cheap dupe for Honest Diapers. So I'm curious to see how um, Rowan does with them. But they have the cutest little prints on them. This one's little cactuses. And this one's a little watermelon. So I'm really hoping she likes that. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I brought ten diapers. Again, if she needs more, then I'll just get Mason or somebody to run across the street to Walgreens and pick up some more. But I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so excited to share this journey with you guys. And just, it's so crazy that I could be having a little girl in less than a week. Um, I'll be considered for full term. So she can come anytime after that. We are more than ready and prepared for her. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video gave you some inspiration on what to pack for your hospital bag and for your baby. I will see you guys very soon. And have an awesome day. Stay beautiful. I don't know what's with the thumbs up, but we're just going to roll with it.